Good training and assessing starts with a trainer who takes the time to unpack the content found in a unit of competence. In Australia, units of competence describe a specific work activity within a vocational area. They are the benchmarks for the VET sector and the building blocks to qualifications. Units of competence tell us what to train and assess, plus give some guidance on how this can be done. Each unit of competency is broken down into its code and title. Application, specific elements, performance criteria, knowledge evidence, performance evidence, foundation skills and assessment conditions. They also contain administrative information such as modification history, mapping information, links and industry sector. Wow, that's complex. No wonder it takes time to get good at it. So let's take a quick tour. The application information gives an overview of the unit, the job roles that the content may apply to and any licensing, certification or legislative requirements that apply to the unit. In the unit called Prepare and Present Sandwiches, you can see that it would be relevant for people who would make a range of different sandwiches in cafes, canteens and cafeterias. Elements describe the skills required to perform a work activity, which in our example is the unit of competence called Prepare and Present Sandwiches. These are then further detailed in the performance criteria. Each PC statement may contain skills and or knowledge components that are assessed using different methods and tools. In our example, the first element is Select Ingredients and Performance Criteria 1.3 is to check perishable supplies for spoilage or contamination prior to preparation. This sounds simple, but when you unpack it, it's more complex. To perform the skills involved, like checking use-by dates of food and visually inspecting food for mould, bruises and other signs of spoilage, a learner would also need to know FIFO, first in, first out, the temperature danger zone and many other things to do with food safety. The act of checking is a skill, but there is underpinning knowledge that also needs to be acquired and assessed. Of the many assessment options, Probably the simplest to assess a skill is to create an observation checklist of specific tasks that a learner needs to demonstrate correctly. In our example, I might add three tasks that would show me that the learner can perform the skills required of PC 1.3. These might be 1. Check use-by dates of packaged foods and discard any out-of-date items. Two. Check seals on opened and stored products. 3. Discard any food that has signs of spoilage. A written test is the simplest and most efficient way to assess knowledge. Tests can be administered verbally or with assistive technology for students with special needs. This is often called reasonable adjustment. Some of the questions that would need to be asked to address the knowledge component of PC 1.3 could include 1. What is the difference between a best before and a use-by date? 2. What is the temperature danger zone? 3. Why is it important to check the temperatures of fridges and freezers several times each day? 4. What would you do with a bag of mouldy grated cheese? So you can see that one appearingly simple performance criteria has resulted in at least three tasks that need to be observed and recorded on an observation checklist and at least four questions for a knowledge test. Foundation skills describe examples of the reading, writing, numeracy, oral communication, employability and learning skills that are embedded in the performance criteria. For example, the learner must show that they can read the date codes and rotation labels on food products. Performance evidence outlines the skills, tasks and roles that need to be demonstrated. There will be an alignment between the performance evidence and the skills you have unpacked from the performance criteria earlier in the unit. Information in the performance evidence should be clearly reflected in the observation checklist. Knowledge evidence 
specifies what the individual must know in order to safely and effectively perform the work activity. Information in the Knowledge Evidence section should be addressed in the test or other instrument designed to assess knowledge. Assessment conditions stipulate any mandatory requirements that assessment must comply with. Our example says that skills must be demonstrated in a commercial kitchen and has a long list of equipment. Reading through all the information in a unit of competence, highlighting keywords and writing notes is the key to planning engaging and productive training and appropriate assessment. Units of competence can be downloaded at www.training.gov.au in PDF or Word format.